In the bid to achieve youth inclusivity in its campaign against corruption, the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, has launched the youth arm of its organization, SERAP Accountability Club. At the event in Lagos on Wednesday, officials of SERAP swore in key executives of the club. Speaking to newsmen, the program officer for Lashadi Aribabu said the club will help university students express themselves freely and speak against various crimes in the country. On his part, one of the coordinators of Serap Accountability Club explained that the platform has been beneficial so far. The goal and objective of SAC is to be able to promote the inclusion so that students and young persons can um, feel like they belong in this process. So it's, they have to own the fight again. Um, um, someone said that um, the old is gone, the new is come. And this is the set of the new that is come. So they need to understand. And again, another thing we do is increase awareness on the procedures and the mechanisms for transparency and accountability in their school, in their communities, um, anywhere they are. They can be accountability agents and anti-corruption agents wherever they are. It's an opportunity for us to join a group of people who are pushing against the issue of corruption, which has been, to me, the greatest problem Nigeria is having as a country, then being here in this conference has also given me an opportunity to feel that we need to bring in transparency, we need to bring in accountability. These things, it's not a rocket, it's not, it's not a rocket science, it's something that can actually be done if all of us actually get ready and then be ready to do the right thing at the right time. Many a time people fall victims of human rights violations because they refuse to speak out. We've had a lot of issues of rape, a lot of issues of um, abuses and assault going on across our campuses. A part of the initiative that engages state youth in advocacy initiatives, um, in the fight against corruption, and it's more or less a capacity building initiative that empowers them to know what they ought to know to be able to engage government positively as part of their civic responsibilities as Nigerians.